Hey, Jason's on my feet here. And a new DLC or update uh, for GTA Online just dropped. Or it didn't just drop. Uh, the trailer just dropped. And I wanted to talk to you guys about that. I wanted to give you guys my first impressions on it. I'm going to show a little bit of the video he video in, in within this video. A little bit of the trailer. That's my water bottle. If you guys haven't watched it yet, I'll put the link in the description. It comes out five days. Literally, August 29th, which is Tuesday. Next Tuesday. The upcoming Tuesday. Five days. It's pretty sudden. I didn't expect this at all. It just kind of kind of dropped, you know? They just dropped gun running a month ago. Or a month and a half ago, I guess, at this point. And now they're already dropping another, like, major one. Rather than doing some a couple whack ones in between. I don't know. I, I feel like maybe they're just kind of pumping out all the good ones left. And, you know, till they start really working on Red Dead Redemption 2 or something. Uh, which I can't wait for. I'm hoping they do, like, uh... A, a western like theme if you know what I mean by that a western theme for the GTA online like an update that has to do with like Wild West type stuff. I don't know. Well, let's talk about this update. I want to give you guys um, These are my legs sometimes I like to sit like this because I can <laughs> No, if you guys watch my videos enough you probably know that I am not a fan of jets, okay? I'm not a fan of jets. I don't really like all, most of the air vehicles in the game. You know, if you gotta go a really long distance, you get in a helicopter, you go there. That's pretty much all I use the air vehicles for is traveling. I don't use them for combat that often. Especially since the homing launcher, the buzzard's like damn near useless. I, I, I've never been into it. Plenty of people like the pilots on GTA Online that are really into it. That's their thing. It's really not. I like staying on the ground just doing my thing. Shooting people or just rolling around in cars. I prefer that. You know, to each their own, right? Obviously, you guys should know I despise the Hydra and jets being used to, you know, be abused to kill people on the ground. I think it's cool DLC. I think it's way cooler than some stupid stunt jumps or, you know, stunt races or whatever. It's basically all about air vehicles and fighter jets, planes that fight against, you know, air versus air battles and whatnot. I, the way I see it is it's basically kind of something I predicted, actually. Ever since the gun running DLC dropped, I was thinking, you know, they got the land, then they're gonna get air and sea. So I was waiting for an air vehicle type update. It's basically like the gun running DLC, but in the sky. And I figure they're gonna do one on in in the water in sea, eventually too. Like pirates, a pirate update. That would be kind of cool. A pirate update, where you have like some big oil tanker is your home, or it's like a mobile ship or something. Like the mobile operation center, but in the water. Yo ho ho, Blackbeard is at it again. No, that's 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 my so that's my southerner accent. In any case, my first impression just based off the. DLC just about based off the trailer is that it actually might be good For I mean, I'm not that into using the air vehicles, but the ones that they do add I feel like well one you'll probably get helicopters with flares to Distract a uh, heat-seeking missile so the homing launcher would go after a helicopter They would deploy flares and it would swerve to go after the flares instead of the helicopter, therefore missing the helicopter. Now they add stuff like that, or they just add, you know, really armored up helicopters and planes that can just take a lot of missiles, like an insurgent on w with wings, <laughs> which would be crazy. Then I think that actually be really cool. It would add that as a viable option of combating people again. The problem is it'll be abused just like the Hydra is. Maybe not to the extent the Hydra is. If you watch some of the clips, it shows airplanes fighting other airplanes. If they add air vehicles that can actually take on a jet, it might eliminate the problem more than what the gun running DLC said it was going to. Because it, it really didn't. People still use jets and they still mess your ass up with them. It'll bring back a lot of the people, the, the pilots of GTA Online that just like to roll around in their, you know, air vehicles. But a lot of those people just like to go around blowing people up with with hydras and that shit is is one of the most annoying things on gta gta online has never added rockstar or whatever they've never added anything to properly combat hydras 
the Jets, they've never, not one thing. The homing launcher does not do jack to a jet. If you know how to use a jet, homing launcher is not jack. It's not going to do a thing. You have to just, you have to learn how to free aim rocket or shoot him with a sniper. And you have to have a lot of patience, basically. Or just wait him out. Go on passive mode or just go in your house or something to just get, get away from a guy who just is using a jet over and over and over. To try to kill you while you're on the ground. It needs to be nerfed. It, it's needed to be nerfed from day freaking one. Ever since it got put in the game, it needed to be nerfed. Hell, I remember when people used to go to the the to the army base to get a jet, and there was no Hydra. At least then, it was a little bit more controlled, you know. I feel like this most people's reaction to this update would be that they're gonna add a bunch of stuff that just makes that problem even worse. Like, oh god. Like the bombing run, the bombing run plane that they're adding. Oh, jeez. I mean, that honestly looks kind of cool. But it doesn't really look more effective than a Hydra. Somebody who knows how to use a Hydra can do the same thing, but more accurately. I think that the helicopter, the one helicopter looks really cool. I predicted like an Air Force One type plane that was like a mobile operations center in the air that you could chill in and feel safe in and relaxed and protected in your plane that's also a home. Lots of armor, flares to deflect missiles. And I was thinking that would be like the center of an air-based uh, DLC. I feel like this DLC is just gonna bring in a lot of people that, it's gonna bring back a lot of people to GTA Online that I kinda don't want back. And you know, the people that just constantly kill you with jets or try to kill you with jets over and over and over. I mean, to an extent that's, fine i mean if you're going up against a dirty player fight dirty i got no problem with that if, if you go up against a dirty player fight dirty play their way i mean i i usually don't anyway i don't like playing dirty anyway if i i usually just don't even bother with dirty players it's just let them do them i'm gonna go over here and do something else <laughs> most of the people that use hydras they fight dirty on people that are either minding their own business or are fighting clean like, they get killed a bunch by someone... It's mostly a bunch of salty dickheads that uh, you kill a bunch of times. Perfectly clean, perfectly legitimate, and they go on passive, go get a jet, and, you know, try to even out their KD. I feel like this DLC will bring a lot of those people back on the game, but I don't, I don't actually think any of the vehicles will really create a similar problem as the, the Hydra poses. In fact, I feel like some of the vehicles might even help get rid of the Hydra as a problem. Maybe people, it'll add air vehicles that can actually combat the Hydra and maybe even effectively take people out in it. I don't know. Ultimately, it looks like a cool enough DLC, a cool enough little update. Uh, I wasn't planning on making this video. I just, the thing just dropped. They just dropped the, the so suddenly, saw it on Twitter, you know went from there. Oh, let me look at this, let me read this real quick. They read the description. I think the description gives a lot more details than the actual video itself. With a name that's a nod to an early classic from the Rockstar Games catalog, Smuggler's Run, probably not a lot of you guys know, Smuggler's Run is actually the name of a game that Rockstar published like years ago, like more than a decade ago at least. Early 2000s I know for sure. It's like an old game on the PS2. Anyway, but it continues. Smuggler's Run opens up the air corridors above Los Santos and, Blaise, and Blaine County, providing new business opportunities while in introducing a range of planes, choppers, and even ultralights, which is like some experimental type uh, plane. It kind of looks like a plane slash helicopter hybrid. I don't know. It's like a new type of plane. Smuggler's Run delivers a massive range of new customizable aircraft perfect for any mission along with expansive new aircraft hangars in which to stash your fleet of fantastic flying machines your fleet of fantastic flying machines these new pro uh, properties are also the hq from which you manage your smuggling business and we're gonna get a new uh, mechanic named charlie basically customizable aircraft which is pretty cool customize they had customizable war vehicles with gun riding and then customizable now customizable aircraft i think it's a pretty cool dlc this this might actually be the dlc to really get me into using aircraft in gta which 
I've never really been that into previously. It also, of course, means a bunch of money I'm gonna have to spend uh, in-game money to buy all this stuff. <laughs> I'm not even done researching stuff for the gun running DLC. I'm, I haven't even finished that yet. Come on, GTA. Come on, Rockstar. Take two interactive, more like their greedy tactics. But I can promise you, I'm not gonna get that many new of these new vehicles. I probably will get some of the helicopters. I don't know. They don't. They haven't given any details on what the uh, planes and helicopters will actually do, other than just fly. We all saw the oppressor in the gun running uh, trailer, right? But you didn't really know how good it'd be until you actually got your hands on it. And saw it in action right didn't really know the full uh, scope or extent of it until you actually really saw it so i'm looking forward to it at the very least going to the no rockstar newswire it does say that they're going to be releasing some four-wheeled vehicles with this dlc as well as airplanes which could suggest vehicles that maybe fly like the oppressor like i, I made a joke about the uh, insurgent on wings think about that an insurgent with, that can do the same thing as the oppressor. With all your buddies in the back seats. Maybe. I'm just speculating at this point. I like talking about these. I, I want to start a conversation with you guys. See what you guys think about these new DLCs and updates coming out. I I understand that a lot of people um, are like they get mad at Rockstar. Because they release all these new vehicles and this new content as a way to get people they make the prices really high and they make it really hard to make the money because they expect people to you know buy shark cards and spend real money in order to get it is microtransactions it is these dlcs are free because they know people will buy shark cards to off balance the amount of money they spend on making the dlc it's the only reason they're free and it's the only reason they're still updating gt online now a lot of people complain about that that these cars and these vehicles are so unaffordable and the method of getting them is takes so long unless you spend a bunch of real money to get them faster but the way i look at it now yeah i see that yeah it's obviously it's greedy but the way i see it is i love gta 5 online and to be honest with you if they had not released any of these dlcs and didn't continue to do so i don't know if i'd still be playing it i'm glad they're releasing these dlcs it keeps the game fresh it keeps you coming back it keeps you interested in the game and they've added so many cool things, you know? I, I never buy shark cards either. You know? I never buy shark cards. I don't do modded money. Back on PS3, a modder did give me uh, a billion dollars, though. <laughs> but that got taken away, eventually, by Rockstar when they cracked down on that. Which is why I have no vehicles in my garage, is because I had to sell them all to get the new stuff. <laughs> but anyway, that's besides the point. Basically... I like this DLC. It looks cool. World War 3, true World War 3 in Grand Theft Auto 5 online is coming to pass. It's coming. It's coming with this update. You're going to be having people on the ground blasting off rockets with uh the gun running stuff and then people in the air dropping bombs, literally dropping live active bombs on them. Wait till they add that pirate update. No, that Wild West update. That's the ones. I'll, I, I'll get into that Wild West update. In any case, it looks crazy. But I want to know what you guys think about it. I'm not going to be do talking about any of the stunt race stuff. Apparently, that's what they're going to be doing for the fall. I, personally, I'm not interested in that stuff. Unless it's something really wild and cool. No interest. I, I'm not going to be paying attention to that. I just like talking about these like combat-related DLCs and updates. Because that's what I like to do in GTA. Go to combat. War, you know, battling, fighting. That's what I like to do in GTA, so I like to talk about it. And I want to talk about it with you guys. If you guys have interest in this, or if you don't have interest in this DLC, just let me know. Write something in the comments. Just tell me what you think about it. Maybe talk to some other people about it in the comments. In any case, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys liked it and enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and drop that like button. We just hit 7K which is amazing because a week ago we hit like 4k and now we hit seven or a couple weeks ago we hit like 4k and now 7k i mean it's just crazy guys we're on the road to 10k thank you guys so much for being here with me watching my videos and subscribing with that being said like the video if you liked it subscribe if you are new and i'll catch all you fine people in 
my next video. All you beaches in my next video. So, until then, be easy, beaches.